I mean, okay, so this is, you can see, this is those two categories I was just talking about, Cava de Guarda. Uh, this is basically a very basic category. And so minimum aging on here is just nine months. Then you move to this next category, Cava de Guarda Superior. And one of the big, big changes that happened here, and this is why you're seeing the organic plantings start to skyrocket, is uh, when they came up with this category a couple of years ago, they instituted a requirement that by 2025, anybody who wanted to label as Cava de Guarda Superior had to be organic, 100% organic. And so this is why, like I said, 41% you know, growth in organic vineyards. Um, a lot of producers were already farming organically. The five years gives them time to certify. And so you see a lot of, uh, a lot of movement happening in the region because of, of that requirement in particular. Uh, there are uh, some other things, and we'll, we'll actually look at some of the things that are, are, are common throughout any wine in this category um, are the 100% uh, organic, as I just mentioned, uh, limited production, and the, 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 the maximum yields are lower than the generic ones for Cava de Guarda. Um, and they all uh, will are, have to be vintage. 